Hello Susanna and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having a good day so far. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Diana and I make videos all about my life as an expat living in Berlin, Germany. And for today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you my whole story of why I even moved to Germany and how I came to this decision to live here. Now it's been two years and a half, so I think it's time I share this with you guys. And yeah, I'm excited to talk about this a bit more because I don't think I've ever been this open with you and I definitely think it's time. So let's get started. I'm gonna take you guys all the way back to September 2016. And this is when my boyfriend Josh and I had just gotten back from our backpacking trip across Asia and Europe. We had been backpacking for the last seven months. We went to 15 countries and our time backpacking unfortunately came to an end. You know, um, we were low on funds. We couldn't travel that much anymore. So our time was up and it was time to go back to Toronto. Now the plan was always to move back in with my parents for a couple of months while we got on our feet again, while we got some jobs, saved some money, and then we would move back out. So pretty much as soon as we got back, we started applying for jobs and we did this for about three months and nothing really happened. I went to so many job interviews. Um, I wasn't really clicking with the companies. I wasn't being offered a fair enough salary for what the cost of living is in Toronto. And yeah, it, things just weren't going according to plan. You know, the plan was to move in with my parents for a limited amount of time and get out of there as soon as possible. And now we were both just in this really uncomfortable situation. I sort of felt like a child still living at home, you know, not being able to pay for a lot of the things that I wanted to. I felt really limited and we got a bit discouraged there. And I started talking with Josh a bit more after, you know, we applied for jobs for three months, you know, day over day over day and nothing was happening. And we started to realize that the Toronto lifestyle just wasn't for us anymore. You know, there wasn't a big work-life balance. The cost of living was extremely expensive and the overall lifestyle just didn't align with us that much anymore. We had grown so much during our backpacking trip and learned so many different things, seen so many different cultures, so many different ways of living, and Toronto just didn't line up with us the way it used to when we lived there before. Um, so we started talking a bit more and we started thinking about our time in Berlin. And when we were in Berlin, we actually met up with an old friend from university and she had moved from Toronto to Berlin and she was just talking about how awesome Berlin was, how you know the environment was really great, there was a lot of job opportunities for expats and she was really selling it to us and you know when we were in Berlin we're like wow it's so cool maybe we'll live here one day and yeah, once we went back home and we went through the whole process of trying to settle back in Toronto, we decided, you know what, it's just not really for us anymore. And we wanted to give Berlin a chance. And so once we made up our mind, I was like, yes, let's do this. Let's go for it. But really like, we didn't know where to get started. You know, neither of us are EU citizens. We don't speak German. So I pretty much spent my days just applying to jobs in Germany right away and learning about the whole visa process and how it would be possible to move to Germany. And I did this for a couple of weeks and I did this every single day, guys. I applied for jobs. I send out so many CVs, so many cover letters, and I wasn't really receiving any responses, to be honest. I thought it would be much easier because um, you know, our friend had told us that there were so many job opportunities, but we heard crickets for a couple of weeks and then we started talking again. We're like, okay, maybe this is just a delusional plan. You know, what were we thinking? We don't speak the language. We don't have any visas. Who the hell is going to hire us? Something in me just didn't want to let this go. I had really connected with Berlin. I really loved it and I didn't want to let this idea go. 
So I asked Josh to like wait a couple of weeks, you know, give me a couple of weeks. I'll try to do as much more research as I can and try to figure it out. And this is where things got really, really serious. I got really intense about this. I spent so many hours just learning about the German culture, the German work culture, um, you know, about the whole visa process. And something that I hadn't realized before is that I was actually sending out my resumes or my CVs in North American format, which was a big mistake. And I was supposed to be sending it out in German format. And yeah, this was like a whole revelation. And once I started to do this, I got a lot more responses from companies in Germany, which was amazing. And I, I got more momentum and I got more excited about it. And then finally I landed an interview with the company that I'm currently with. We did four Skype interviews. And after uh, the fourth one, I got offered the position to move here. It was an English speaking role in my field, which was incredible and it was such an amazing feeling. I still remember getting that work contract uh, via email and you know printing it out and showing it to Josh and I was like so ecstatic and we were both so excited for this. Um, and yeah, from there we actually started to apply for our visas. Now Josh didn't find a job right away, but we both decided that we wanted to move here together. We were not uh, going to do long distance. We really wanted to be in Germany together. So even though he didn't have a job lined up, we would still move over uh, when my job started here. So we both got our visas. Josh got the working holiday visa and I got a work visa and we broke the news to our family that we were leaving again and we were gonna go to Germany. And luckily uh, they were quite supportive of this and um, yeah, that's pretty much where the whole journey started. And in February 2017, we moved and that's pretty much also where I started documenting my whole journey here. Um, I started sharing all of my tips and my experiences as somebody new to Germany because I had done so much research leading up to the move and watched so many videos that I also wanted to share my experiences with all of you and hopefully make it easier or um, you know, give you perhaps some encouragement if you were thinking about moving as well. Um, so that's really where my channel started too. And um, after we moved, Josh actually got a job two weeks later in his field as well, an English speaking job. And that was amazing as well. And it's not to say that being here over the last two and a half years has been easy because it hasn't. There's definitely been a lot of challenges. Um, as I'm sure you know, it was very difficult for us to find a flat, a permanent flat here. Um, even the whole process of just starting over and making friends here um, can be quite uncomfortable and quite challenging. And of course, learning about an entirely new culture and how things are done here uh, comes with its challenges as well. And I really wouldn't change anything. I know people say that and it's quite cheesy, but everything that happened, you know, all of the struggles of being back in Toronto and not finding jobs and being uncomfortable, you know, doubting ourselves whether or not we would even get jobs here because we weren't EU citizens, we didn't speak the language. I wouldn't change any of that because everything led up to this moment to where we're actually here and being in Berlin has truly been one of the best decisions we've ever made. It has been amazing for our careers, for our personal growth. Um, we've made so many great connections with other people. Um, we also have that lifestyle that we want. We have a really good work-life balance. We get to travel often. We live a very comfortable life. And I know that that would not be possible living back home. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys um, in case any of you are thinking about moving here. I really hope that you don't get discouraged by the things that come your way, whether it be that you're applying for a ton of jobs here and you're not hearing back 
or um, maybe you're doubting yourself because you also are not an EU citizen or you don't speak the language. Do not get discouraged. If it's something that you want, you will get it. Keep working at it every single day. I know so many people here that are not German speaking and are not EU citizens and they have a really good job here and they have lived the life here that they want and it's definitely possible Germany is a booming economy. There's so many work opportunities and I really just hope that you don't get discouraged along the way because you can definitely make it happen. So yeah, that is pretty much my story of why I moved to Germany and my whole journey of moving here. And um, that's actually one of the reasons why I also created my ebook because I know I could have found a guide like that super helpful when I first started my journey. Um, I know I could have avoided a lot of mistakes and saved a lot of time if I had a guide like that. So I wanted to create something for you guys. Um, just in case you are in the same process, I talk about all of my tips in there, all of the mistakes that I made, and hopefully you guys can avoid so that you can find a job here as quickly as possible. So if you're interested, um, as always, I will leave a link uh, down below for you to check it out. But I just want to say thank you and I definitely want to say thank you so much to all of you who have been following me throughout this whole journey. Or even if you're new, your support, your comments mean so much to me. You guys are really amazing. I appreciate you so much and that will be pretty much all for today. Uh, again, I hope that you're having an awesome day and I will talk to you all next week. Tschüss!